Hey, welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we have a video on a subject that is like all around the internet. People are always searching for this, me in particular, and that is transferring data from one smartphone to another, more specifically, Android to Android, and even more specific than that, Samsung to Google Pixel. So it's easy to transfer, and more specific than that, SMS messages. Other data to transfer is pretty straightforward. You can download any third-party app. You can do it through the setup of the new device. But SMS messages seems to be like one of the most difficult things to transfer from a Samsung phone to a Google phone. On iOS, you have iCloud backups and that sort of thing. The transferring process is straightforward. Same thing with Samsung's use Samsung Smart Switch, transfer all your data, including SMS messages, over to your new phone using your Samsung account. Same thing goes for Google using your Google account. The hard part is going from Samsung to Google or Google to Samsung. Now, I looked all over the internet trying to find the solution to this problem. I did a ton of research and basically it came down to two things. One, download some third-party app that's like super sketchy and I don't recommend that. And I don't think that honestly works. Um, I checked the app store for apps to transfer data, including SMS messages, and I couldn't find any reliable ones. Most of them got really bad reviews, so I just don't trust that stuff. So the only foolproof way to actually do this, in my opinion, and I'm gonna show you on camera now, is via the setup process of your Google Pixel. Every phone, when you set it up, asks you to transfer data. It's pretty self-explanatory. You wanna take your old data on your old phone and put it on your new one. So you have that data and you can use your phone the same way and have access to that data. So right now, the only way you can do it is through Google's setup process, just like any other smartphone, in which you can pick what specific data you want to transfer over to your new device. You can pick your photos, you can pick videos, uh, contacts, and it has an option for SMS messages. So I'm gonna be showing you a top-down view about what, how this looks and how this works. So yeah, let's just hop right into it. Hopefully this helps you guys out. Okay, people, so we are here. We are transferring data over from the Samsung to the Google Pixel. And hopefully this is a good shot about everything. So I'm on the process where you can actually choose what data to copy over. 7.1 gigs out of 88 gigs total storage. And honestly, and synced automatically is Google Calendar, Google Contacts, Google Photos, and Gmail. That's pretty obvious. But the other thing in here is you want to select SMS messages and also MMS attachments. Um, the other stuff is not too important for this video. I mean, if you want contacts is important and apps and photos and videos, that stuff's important. But the main purpose of this video is selecting SMS messages so this stuff can be transferred over from this phone over to this phone. And I'm currently doing that using a USB Type-C cable to USB Type-C because um, it goes much faster than doing this over Wi-Fi. But then all you have to do is click copy and your data will start copying over from this phone, which is an S21, to this phone, which is a Google Pixel 6. Google services as well. You can do all this stuff, accept it, and then that's my email account. And then you can turn on backup, blah, blah, blah. Accept, set a pin, I'll do this off screen. And that's pretty basically the gist of this. You can finish the setup process, just walk through, like set up the fingerprint right here, and you should be good to go. Your SMS messages should be set up from here and transferred over to here, and you should be good to go. Hopefully that answered all the internet's questions. For some reason, I can't find a solution or an easy, straightforward solution out there doing this once your phone's already set up. That was the main issue I was having. The phone was already set up and I didn't have my SMS messages transferred over. So you have to fully factory reset the phone almost and make sure you transfer those SMS messages from the start. 